We know that it's hard to stay up to date on USIP's latest publications, so we've challenged our teams to summarize their latest research in less than a minute. This is Briefly. Last year, President Trump and Kim Jong-un agreed to work toward peace and denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. But any long-term agreement is unlikely without North Korea's ally and largest trading partner, China. So USIP convened experts to assess China's role and influence in the North Korean nuclear crisis. They agreed that China shares Washington's desire for denuclearization. But unlike Washington, China doesn't believe that immediate denuclearization is likely. Instead, China, like North Korea, prefers a phased process that addresses peace and denuclearization simultaneously. So how should the U.S. respond? Well, it's important to remember that adopting China's two-pronged approach doesn't mean accepting their measures. Washington should work with Beijing and regional allies to develop a coordinated approach to negotiations. At the same time, it should continue to urge China to strictly enforce sanctions against North Korea until all parties can agree on a process for sanctions relief. To learn more about China's role in the North Korea conflict, visit usip.org.